The business community is fearing the worst after the surprise move by the Commonwealth Bank last week to lift its mortgage lending rates. Speculation is mounting that other banks will follow suit and analysts believe it's only a matter of time before business rates also rise, regardless of future moves in official rates. Andrew Robertson reports. The Commonwealth Bank's decision to unilaterally lift its mortgage rates is being seen by the business community as an ominous sign of what lies ahead. Business largely missed out when home lending rates were slashed over the last nine months and is far from happy at the prospect of higher charges. Our folks are resigned to the fact that they're in for a hard time. Uh, they're working their way through it, but they just want a little bit more flexibility and maybe some new products and some more uh, out-of-the-box thinking from these, uh, these banks. According to a recent survey of the association's members in the period where official interest rates have more than halved, 50% of small retailers have received no reduction in the interest rate on their business loans. 70% have had no cut in the rate on their overdraft and 96% have had no lowering of their credit card rates. And banking analyst Martin North says the outlook is not any better. Even if the Reserve Bank decided to move rates lower, I think it will probably not translate into lower rates for commercial customers. And in the medium term, we're going to see rates going up, not down. According to Martin North, what will send interest rates up is the simple economic law of supply and demand for money. Governments around the world, companies around the world and banks around the world are all rapidly trying to grab more funds and the costs of those funds because of supply and demand are going up. The long-term rates now are higher than they've been for quite a few months. That's the thing that's underlying the conundrum that the banks face. Which was the justification used by the Commonwealth Bank on Friday to lift mortgage rates. However, Eastern Partners analyst Zoran Nezovich believes the borrowing situation isn't that black and white. In terms of the wider and broader environment, that, that seems to be stabilising. So um, I wouldn't think that that's working um, against the, the, the banks. Again, you know, it is working in their favour. And Zoran Nezovich says recent suggestions from the banks that they may soon be able to live without the government's guarantee for their borrowing suggest a grab for profits was part of the reason behind the Commonwealth's actions. It is a little bit at odds, the fact that they're saying... Um, we don't need the guarantee, on the other hand, saying our funding costs have gone up. For retailers especially, one of the big concerns from the Commonwealth Bank's move is that if home loan rates are increasing, shoppers will put their wallets away. Right now, consumer confidence is increasing. What we need now is the positive messages from government and also other corporates to maintain that good consumer uh, sentiment. Um, any bad news associated with interest rates or a reduction of cash in the system is a negative to, uh, to business conditions and also in particular retailers. For now, business has its fingers crossed the other big banks won't be joining the Commonwealth in sending any negative messages of their own.